The two Britain Islanders arrived at Air Station London to Mary to a water salute late this afternoon. The planes are ideal for GDF tasks and operations in the hinterland, Commander of the Air Corps, Lieutenant Colonel Courtney Byrne, explained. These aircraft are best suited for the terrain here in Guyana. And for the type of missions we will we, we, we'll be asked to do, these aircraft can perform these missions well. They are, they are, adept, they are adapted for this kind of terrain. The, the rough mountainous terrains, high performance, high altitudes, high temperatures, and also rough surfaces. Short also um, airstrips. The planes were purchased in Brazil and flown across the border. The Air Corps sent a team of officers to receive these aircraft. That team was headed by Major Mohinda Ramjag, our officer commanding the Fight Operations Department. And he was um, supported by Major Miguel Benjamin, our chief pilot, and Captain Damon Joseph, our quality assurance manager. He's an aircraft engineer. So that team flew back with the two aircraft. Earlier this year, Parliament approved $484 million to purchase the two Islanders and two Skyvans. Now that the Islanders are here, the next step is certifying the aircraft, Lieutenant Colonel Byrne explained. Now that the aircraft have, um, are here, we will um, be required to certify them um, by the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. That process will um, be initiated earliest tomorrow. And um, once that process is concluded, both aircraft will be carrying Ghana um, registration mark um, and they will be um, in receipt of a certificate of awardiness from the Civil Aviation Authority and a registration um, from the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority. We already have pilots who are qualified to operate this aircraft. In fact, we have highly qualified pilots. We have pilots who are training captains and checking captains and we have engineers who are also qualified to maintain these aircraft. Chief of Staff of the GDF, Brigadier Patrick West, and other GDF officials were on hand to witness the arrival of the aircrafts. For InfoHub, Tiffany Rogers.